Hi guys, your edits don't attract attention because you have a poor quality or when you upload it social networks destroy it and an edit look like 360p quality? Are you upset because of this and your views are stagnant? Then don't worry, because today I will show you how to make 4K quality and create beautiful 4K color correction for your edits. Also, before starting, I ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Your activity under tutorials motivates me to make more high quality tutorials and edits. Also, I will leave the link for the color correction in the description and I will show you how to install it at the end of the video. So, I'm not distracting you anymore, let's move to the tutorial. First of all, when you finish the edit only with zooms and slow motion, render it in MP4 format. If you use After Effects 2024, you already have H264 codec and you can render it without using additional programs. But if you don't have it, like me, you will need Adobe Media Encoder or Vocoder. In my case, I use Vocoder because it's totally free and the quality after rendering is really excellent. Link to the official Vocoder website I'll leave in the description. At the page you can also find a guide how to install it. I also need to mention that after rendering, the video will open with black screen or with glitches. But don't worry, this is how it should be. If you want to watch it without glitches and without black screen, just install VLC Media Player and all these problems will disappear. But if you put this video to After Effects or Topos Video Enhance, they will disappear completely. So, when you have installed it, render your video using vocoder with this preset and add to Topos Video Enhance. This is so good program which can improve the quality of your edits significantly if you use right settings of course. You can copy my settings or play with it and find what you like. For my settings I use the following values, for revert compression put 60, for recover details 45, for sharpen 35, for reduce noise 15, for hell 0 and for deblur 50. Also, for size I use 200 scale, but if you have a slow computer, put 100. Video format is MP4 and audio you can switch off, because we will add this video to the old project, where the sound quality is better. Because after the pass, audio quality spoils and even if you will put 0 for constant rate factor, video will weigh too much and it will be inconvenient to work with it. After you have selected settings that you liked, click on start processing and wait when the render ends. Time of rendering depends on your computer, so if you have a very slow computer you can have something like that. When rendering is finished and your computer didn't explode, put your edit back to your project in After Effects. Turn off the sound and pre-compose it. Then add sharpen for AMP put 0.6 for edge to shout put 0.15 and for detail size put 4. Then again go to effects and find BCC and sharp mask with 24 radius and 10 for amount. Next that you will need is S-Glow, find it and add to edit with uh, the following values brightness 0.6, glow width 100. Then find the brightness and contrast, and for first option put 12, for second option put 13. Then you will need VCC Fast Film Glow with these settings, Glow Intensity 15, Glow Threshold 50. After all these effects you will need to add Magic Bullet Looks 3 times. You can use Ctrl Shift D, open the first one, click on Edit and add Gradient. And just repeat my settings. Then close it and open the second one. Add Great Exposure, Spot Exposure, Haze Flyer and Chromatic Aberration. Select Great Exposure and repeat my settings. Then select Spot 
spot exposure and repeat my settings. and flare the last thing left is chromatic abrasion for first option put 0 0.9 for second option put 0 0.620 and for third option put 0 0.230 then close it and I congratulate you, you have 4K quality and beautiful 4K color correction. Also install this color correction without repeating my steps. Just download the file I'll leave in the description. Go to Computer, Documents, Adobe After Effects, of your version of course, use the presets and just put here my file. The last thing you should do is render your edit using one coder again and compress your video using Handbrake. The link to the official Handbrake website I'll leave in the description. Render your edit using the same settings that you used before and add your video to the Handbrake. For preset choose Creator 1080p with 60fps. If you don't have it, find something with 1080p. We will convert video from 4K to 1080p because YouTube, Instagram or TikTok will do it anyway. But if we will do it ourselves, the loss of quality will be significantly less. So, for frame rate put 60 fps, for constant quality put 0, but if your video will wait more than 300 megabytes, you cannot upload it on Instagram. So, for YouTube and TikTok, we will render with constant quality 0, but for Instagram put value in which the video size will not be more than 300 megabytes. Encoder profile put high, encoder level put 6.2, then go to audio and choose instead bitrate quality, and for value put 5. Then choose where you want to render your edit and click start encode. Also don't forget to upload your edits only from your computer, because if you will use your phone, the loss of quality will be significantly more. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you, and if this is so, don't forget to put like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Also write on what topic you want the other tutorial, I'll try to make it as soon as possible. Thanks for your attention, see you soon guys!